Hello, and welcome to the Soul of Innovation podcast. I am the host, Thomas Anglero, and my mission for this podcast is to share with you those private thoughts and reflections that I have being one of the top keynote speakers around the world on technology, motivation, and innovation. I hope you truly enjoy all the lessons I share, all the dots I connect that sometimes are just really difficult to get out, but it's all for you. I truly hope you enjoy this episode. Welcome to the Soul of Innovation Podcast. I'm your host, Thomas Sanglero, and I, let me tell you a story. I, I'm pumped up today because I've been doing a lot of speaking, and I was at a conference the other day, and I did the keynote, and I noticed something about the people. People were in, I call, conference mode. And I'm wondering, are you one of these people? Are you one of these people who go to a conference or you go to your meeting and you sit there and you get into this position that you always get into when you're in a meeting or you're at a conference and it's this slouch? Or like, okay, what is this about? Okay, what has this person got to say? This, I'm in the, 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 mode, the mode of that you're in only into receiving, not into giving. You already put yourself, you already put yourself in a mode where you're like 10 steps removed from anything near the point of being interested. Where the people who are talking have to get you engaged. The people who are talking have to prove something to you. Are you one of these people? Do you go to a meeting where your boss is speaking and you go, oh, God, here we go again. Or one of your colleagues is speaking and you're like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Do you know what you're doing to you? Seriously, do you realize what you're doing to you? And let me, let me really make it clear to you. We see it. I see it every single time I speak. I see people sitting there with this blah face and they're like, uh-huh. It's not the most intelligent face you're giving, all right? We, we, I'm looking at you. I'm like, you're not looking intelligent. And I know you're intelligent. But why the hell are you doing this to yourself? Your body's showing that you're not interested. Your face doesn't show that it's not interested. And for you to get to a point of being interested, what does a person have to do? Cartwheels and, and, and do somersaults and juggle balls or something like that to get you interested? We have to like make like be a circus on stage or something like that? I don't get it why you're doing this to yourself. Can you imagine how much you get more at every single minute of the day that if you sat there, if you if you attended something, at every moment of the day you were engaged and saying, what the hell do you got for me? What amazing thing can I get from this guy or from this woman that will stimulate me? Instead, you put yourself 10 orders of magnitude away from any point of consciousness. I was at a conference in uh, Stockholm just a week or two ago and the speaker before me okay he was a little bit techy um a little bit dry no sense of humor so the audience would, and it was he was the first speaker of the day they just was like he was like the warm-up and then i had my one hour thing right so when i get up there i realize i have to wake these people up but my god even before the first guy went up there people sat there and they had their coffee so that was no excuse and they were completely, utterly removed from anything that looked like energy. And then, and then I looked around and I was like, wow, I've seen this before. I was, I was, as I went back to uh, my car, I realized that this is the face I see of people all the time. Is that you? Have you removed yourself? Are you one of those people who always meet people or see somebody say, okay, you got to prove yourself to me before I even going to give you any respect or I'm going to even listen to you? Are you one of those people? Why the hell are you doing that? Do you understand what you've done to yourself? Why does everybody have to prove themselves to you? Are you one of those people that everyone has to prove themselves to you? So let me ask you this. Hear me loud and clear. Who the hell do you think you are? Hmm? Who do you think you are? Who do you think you are that everybody has to prove something to you? You walk around life like that. You keep on doing that. Then there's no surprise why you're unhappy. There's no surprise why you're depressed. There's no surprise why you just don't feel good. It's you who's doing it. 
It's your attitude that's doing it. Get excited. Get excited for every moment of every day and every engagement and every interaction and every event. And I guarantee you, you're going to look younger. You're going to feel younger. You're going to love life a lot more. You're going to love your job a lot more. You're going to love your family a lot more. And your family's going to love you a lot more and probably fix your marriage or your relationship. It's all on you. I see this all the time. People sitting in their cubicles, completely bored out of their life. It's your fault. Get engaged. Here's the steps. Next time you meet somebody, tomorrow, you go to work. I want you to be excited about going to work. When the hell was the last time you got excited about going to work? Some people are really excited about going to work. Don't look at them like they're nuts when they're going up and down the steps or they're walking by the hallway while they're smiling. Just say, yo, thank you. I forgot. I'm supposed to be smiling. I'm supposed to be happy. That's it. That's the trigger. You release these endorphins, these dopamines in your brains. You get happy. And you know what? You don't have to have a reason to be happy. That's the trick. You go to a meeting. What are we going to hear about? This is great. You can't go any, anywhere, right? You're stuck in that meeting for the next half hour, one hour. You might as well be happy. I don't know how else to tell this. I mean, it's so damn simple what we do to ourselves, what you're doing to yourself. If you're bored, it's your fault. Flip it around. Get excited. Get happy. No one's going to make fun of you for smiling. If anything, everybody else in the room who's unhappy is going to be like, oh, man, I wish I was that person. They look happy. That's the trick. I'll tell you a secret what I do. When I'm at work, people ask me how I'm doing. I go, awesome. Because it's the truth. And I just smile. And there you go. I did it. I make other people smile. And I make other people go, wow, yeah, life is awesome. Done. Check. Get it? Life is awesome. You just got to say it is. And then it is. Okay, things happen. People get sick. Things are... You know, sometimes life's a bitch, but life is beautiful. Life is amazing. Life is wonderful. Those moments come and then let them come and let them go and then get excited again. <laughs> it's the way it works. Life is a beautiful thing. And if you think life is a beautiful thing, if you truly feel that life is a beautiful thing, then beautiful things will only happen to you. Some stuff will come that's not very nice and just let it go. And then you hold on to all the rest of it. So then next time, starting tomorrow, when you're in a meeting, when you're walking into the office, before you walk into the office, when you're walking into the train or the bus, or if you're driving your car, you stop at a light and you look out to your driver window and you see another person, smile. You're going to make that person's day. That person go, oh man, that's right, I should be smiling. And they'll smile back at you. And then you both have a wonderful day. You both start off your day with smiles and love. Ha ah, ha ha, what a gift you just given each other. That's it. There's the secret. That's it. Want to have a beautiful moment? Just smile. Just smile. Until the next time. Thank you for listening to that episode. If you want to contact me, you can contact me on my website at englero.com. And you can also subscribe to the newsletter. Or you can find me anywhere on social media with Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, and Twitter. Thank you so much, and I hope to hear from you very soon.